Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss this is a laptop charger we want to troubleshoot it how we can know that this SMPS controller IC is switching it is a question from one of my viewer that how we can find either PWM IC is switching or not let's check it in my last video we repaired this but now I installed back the resistor that was detected bad. I converted this power supply in not working condition. What are the checkpoints? If any IC will not switch, how we can say this is switching or not? It is using UC384243444455 series IC. Any IC which is switching, it is flyback power supply. Here we have MOSFET external MOSFET either we have external MOSFET or internal MOSFET based IC whatsoever we will check voltage between source to drain across these two points of this MOSFET first of all we will check in a dead power supply then we will compare with our working power supply and then I will explain why it is happening it is our first checkpoint so it have no power why because in this power supply i installed a open resistor that is startup resistor so we cannot find the startup voltage at pin number seven of this ic set multimeter to dc we will test the switching in dc mode with dc voltmeter otherwise for switching we use oscilloscope but now we will verify with this uh, multimeter you can use any multimeter with dc range ground primary side ground that is from this capacitor ground and pin number seven so pin number seven 16 millivolt there are no voltage at the capacitor we have 319 this resistor is open so it is not transferring voltage to the startup pin if we don't have voltage at pin number seven we will not find pin number eight reference voltage so reference voltage must give 5 volt now check voltage at drain and source it is 321 volt this is 321 volt the same which are at the capacitor the same voltage will appear at the MOSFET why positive voltage through this winding reaching here ground reaching at this point through this current sense resistor so we will receive the same voltage positive and negative voltage which are present at this capacitor so we are receiving same voltage 319.7 the same voltage 319 318 the same voltage will reach at this point the next checkpoint we will compare that is this diode at auxiliary winding friends if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button this is vcc capacitor in the same line here we have this diode so we have no voltage which is rectifier from this auxiliary winding so it is not providing any voltage this is in the output of this winding these two test points the third test point that is RCD snubber this resistor this capacitor this diode so we will find this resistor from positive terminal to this point we don't have any voltage this number it is connected across the primary winding now I will connect a good resistance first of all we will discharge this capacitor never touch any component when it is powered on and especially the bulk capacitor must be discharged it is now ok Now I connect it 
the working resistor this resistor was bad now it is powered on now we will check the voltage DC voltage DC range now we will check voltage between drain and source it is 337 volts across drain and source if we check voltage at capacitor it is 378 volt but at drain to source the voltage DC voltage will increase why in this sample circuit the other technique that is used here we will check from source to drain we tested before this there were same voltage which were present at the capacitor but now when the IC started working the voltage increase it is 334 volt we can say 20 volt more than the capacitor voltage why these additional voltage are caused to this collapsing magnetic field in the off period of this IC this number circuit will remove this excessive voltage but still due to collapsing magnetic field we will find some additional stress on this MOSFET so we can say this time the IC is switching and primary is making magnetic field magnetic field is being discharged through this snubber circuit but some of these voltage will also appear at the MOSFET which are here now 329 304 volt so this difference will indicate that there is a switching then we can check from positive voltage from positive terminal to the snubber resistor it is 116 volt now where is snubber resistor that is here that is connected in positive terminal positive terminal and this point it is connected across this capacitor another question that I am connecting the negative terminal to this capacitor that is very sensitive question I am connecting multimeter common lead at positive terminal of the capacitor but the polarity shows the positive voltage black lead at capacitor positive terminal and the red lead at this resistor so that means a resistor this end is positive than this positive terminal because when we apply voltage the positive terminal is apply, applied here but when magnetic field will collapse the collapsing magnetic field will cause to generate reverse voltage in this direction so at that time this end will become negative and resistor this end because this diode is now forward bias so this diode will provide forward polarity here so we can say 116 volt will appear as this resistor if I will connect positive lead to positive terminal and negative at this point the voltage polarity will negative that is immediately after this diode capacitor and resistor this resistor and this capacitor are both in parallel so we will find voltage across this capacitor and this resistor in the same time in the same time we will find approximately 88 volt stress on this diode this diode because collapsing magnetic field will cause to produce reverse voltage some of these voltage will discharge through this resistor and remaining will stored on this capacitor well when the cycle will change cycle will converted in off to on time at that time this MOSFET will switch this end will become negative because the negative terminal is at this anode so diode is reverse bias at that time this capacitor will discharge from this resistor so this is the indication that this IC is switching now the third point we can find pin number 8 that is 5 volt now pin 7 is receiving 12 volt before 
this with original resistor it was not giving any voltage here if we try to test the voltage across this primary it is giving 195 volt switching voltage in the primary so we can say it is switching but some multimeter the low quality multimeters when we will connect it here it will make sparking or it will give whistle sound so that is the reason that multimeter does not have a good frequency response but using any DC multimeter you can verify that there is a switching when the voltage level from drain to source will increase with comparing to the capacitor here is 342 volt and here is 311 volt capacitor 311 MOSFET 300 40, 48 47 there will be approximately 20 to 25 volt difference between these two components MOSFET and this capacitor if this difference is present that means this IC is switching the second thing we can check voltage across this optocoupler it is 1.4 volt that is here in that case that the, our secondary section is working now it is giving a feedback so this is 1 volt in the secondary side or we can say optocoupler secondary side but power supply primary side it have 1.4 volt compensation or feedback voltage here feedback voltage here so compensation we have 2.2 volt so now we can say this optocoupler is providing voltage because in 38424344 it is connected connected between positive line that is positive voltage from this reference regulator and it will provide to the feedback pin and there is a voltage divider network we can check the voltage across this VCC diode that is here before this when this IC was not switching there were no voltage from auxiliary winding diode 12.34 volt before this there were no voltage but now it is providing 12.34 volt that means the IC is switching 1 point 2 point 3 point the fourth optocoupler when we will see these items that these have voltage that means this IC is switching friends I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh